Hey everybody, it's Chili here. Let's take a quick look at the tutorial 11 homework. Uh, task number one is we're going to move the drawing code for the dude into the dude class. So we're going to create a function here, void, draw, and uh, graphics, ampersand, gfx. And the draw function doesn't modify anything in the dude class. So we're going to make it constant. Now we need to make sure that the dude class knows about graphics. So we're gonna include graphics.h in there. And now we gotta actually move the put pixel calls. So we're gonna go to game.cpp. We're gonna copy, draw face, control X. Actually, before we paste that in there, let's go back to dude and dude.h, there it is. And let's, uh, get. Let's create the definition. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste the put pixel calls into here. Yes, I know, you don't like it. Wait a second, daddy gonna make it all better. Uh, what is this, game, void game, dude. Okay, that's weird. Let's just put this up here. We'll get rid of the face part. We're gonna put graphics, graphics. GFX and we'll put a const at the end there and that should make everyone happy. Yes. Good. Mm, toggle. This one is all good now, right? Stop being green. Stop it. Yeah, I know what's going on here. I think IntelliSense is just being a little bitch. So let's build this fucker. And we get a bit of an error here. Uh, incremental blah 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 cannot unresolved external symbol. So what does that mean? Well, I mean, here's the thing. In main, we, not main, game. In game, we are trying to call draw face. And the compiler knows about draw face uh, because if we go into game.h, we see here, oh, yeah, we got a draw face. So the compiler says, there's a draw face. I'm gonna, we're gonna call that shit. But then when it comes time to actually link the function call to its implementation, in game.cpp, it can't find it. So we've declared, uh, we've declared draw face. So we don't get a compiler error, but because we did not implement it, we get a linker error. So first off, we're not gonna be calling draw face anymore. So that's not a problem. So let's go uh, dude.draw gfx. And if we build this, it should work fine now. And it does indeed work fine if we run it. Everything is, where is it? Press enter there. Everything's fine. All good. Okay, and the other thing is, and I forgot to do this in tutorial 11, we don't need these function declarations in here because we're not using them anymore. So interesting to note, not super important, but if you declare a function and you don't implement it, as long as you don't try to call that function, the compiler is not going to call you on your shit. You can declare all sorts of functions that you don't use and not implement them, but as soon as you try to use the function, you're going to get an error, and it's going to be a linker error, uh, undefined external symbol. So if we build this, it'll work fine, no problem. And that's problem one all done up. Just don't worry, I don't know, well, you probably won't get this, but this fucking green underline here says that the definition is not found when it clearly is. I mean, I built the fucking thing and ran it, so it's obviously got the definition. It's just sometimes IntelliSense fucks up. All right, so task two was create another version of DrawRect, and that version will take the width and the height of the rectangle and use that to draw it. Now, there's basically two ways of going about this. One way is to copy this function body, paste it out, modify it a bit, and, you know, create two copies of the draw rect function. But there's a much more clever and a much more maintainable way of handling this. And that's the road that we're going to take. So what, I'll tell you what I would like to do. What I would like to do is create another version of draw rect. It takes x0, uh, y0, and it takes width and height and all it does is it calls the first version of draw rect the, the version that has the actual implementation and we can call this we call this thing a function a wrapper so it wraps around our draw rect for two points and it just uh basically adapts the input 
to that format. So we add width to x0 and we add height to y0. And then we call with color. This is what I would like to do, but I can't. Now, in C++, you have something called uh, function overloading. So you can have two functions, they have the same name, but as long as they have different parameters, uh, you can have them and you can call them and they can be distinguished. Look at put pixel here. We've got a put pixel that takes RGB and we've got another put pixel that takes C. They both have the exact identical name. The way the compiler distinguishes is between them is if you call put pixel with five int parameters, it knows to call this one. And if you call a put pixel with three parameters, two ints and one color, it knows to call this one. Now, the problem here with draw rect is these two versions have the exact same signature, which is to say they have the same name and they have four ints plus a color. So we can't overload draw rect. We have to give it a different name so that the compiler can distinguish between them. Although I would like to overload it. I like that style better. So I'm just going to call this draw rect dim. Dim for dimensions because we're calling it with the dimensions of the rectangle. And yeah, we just call this one, and this one calls the uh, the main draw rect. And now we only have one implementation, which is great because if you have if you copied and pasted this code, you would have two different implementations in your code, almost the same but not quite. Now later on down the road, let's say you find a bug in your uh, draw rect you might fix one of those implementations but forget to fix the other one and you still got that bug in there. And the same is if you just want to change the implementation, make it more efficient, whatever, you have to keep maintaining those two separate but almost identical versions. Whereas if you use a function wrapper, now you've only got to maintain one version and the other version will just call the main version. And there is I mean, you could say, well, I don't like this because now I have to do two function calls to call this thing. But the thing is, the compiler is smart enough to optimize out those function calls. So essentially, they're going to be, you know, the same performance. You're not really paying for anything. You're just getting good shit for free. And if we go into game.cpp, uh, we can write a quick little test here. We can go draw rect dim. And let's just go, I don't know, 10, 10, 50, 50 colors that's not that is not a colon uh we'll go red and here we go we see that uh, we get our red rectangle where we would expect it so everything is running fine and that's the homework for tutorial 11 as usual you know let me know in the comments if there's anything fuck I just realized I've been recording with the uh, the IDE outside of the recording region partly, and now it's like, do I re-record it? The answer is no. Fuck it. This is going up. You guys can see. It's all right. You'll, you'll live. Uh, so yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments if there's anything besides the fact that, you know, the, the window was out of the recording region. And... Uh, that you want to comment on or let me know if you had a different solution you thought it was interesting it's all good and i'll see you soon with some more c plus plus